Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Arrested, arraigned, and then released, former President Donald Trump breezing in and out of Washington, D.C. to enter his plea on charges he tried to interfere with the 2020 election results. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 6. I'm Devin Skillian. Good evening. I'm Karen Drew. In for Kimberly Gill tonight. The former president could have appeared on video, but chose to plead not guilty in person late this afternoon to four different charges of conspiracy and obstruction related to the results of the 2020 election. Special counsel alleging the Donald Trump tried to stay in power through various schemes, and that includes allegedly organizing fraudulent slates of electors in Michigan and six other states, and repeating a false claim of an illegal ballot dump in the city of Detroit. Mara McDonald following it for us from the newsroom. Former president spoke about an hour ago, but didn't say much, Mara. Devin, he did. He, right as he was getting on his plane, this is after he entered his not guilty plea inside the federal courthouse in Washington, D.C. Let me show you. The former president making brief comments before he hopped on his plane late today. This is a persecution of a political opponent. This was never supposed to happen in America. This is the persecution of the person that's leading by very, very substantial numbers in the Republican primary and leading Biden by a lot. So if you can't beat him, you persecute him or you prosecute him. This is the third indictment against the former president, but it has the distinction of being the only one charging him criminally while he was still in office. Trump pleaded not guilty inside the federal courthouse in Washington, D.C. late this afternoon. This indictment prominently features Michigan and what happened here after the 2020 election. The former president is accused of trying to pressure both leaders of the Republican-led legislature at the time to decertify the election results, something neither Mike Shirky or Lee Chatfield would do. Shirky told the president in a meeting in the Oval Office he didn't lose Michigan because of fraud. He lost Michigan because he underperformed with certain populations. So much, if not all, of what happened was because of lies about our elections. They were lies that were intended to block the will of the people from coming to fruition, and they were lies that led to violence. Back here live, if this case does go to trial and if that is that happens, that's months away from today. But if it does and there's no sort of deal reached here, you have the possibility, a pretty high one, of seeing number of people from Michigan called to testify. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Mm. Exactly right. right. Thank you, Mara. By the way, ahead on NBC Nightly News, insight on the judge expected to preside over the trial of former President Trump going forward. Judge Tanya Chutkin is known as a tough sentencer and also has a history with Trump. She was born in Jamaica, nominated by President Obama in 2013. She served as a public defender in Washington and a corporate attorney, a lot of trial experience. But the judge previously denied Donald Trump's plea to keep records from being released to the U.S. House January 6th committee. She is the only D.C. federal judge who has sentenced January 6th defendants to longer sentences than those requested by the prosecutors.